Just child, blessed redemption is found in his eyes. All creatures, great and small, he came for all. Mary, sweet Mary, tonight your soul.
Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Are you excited about being here tonight? I am so excited. I've been working on this music personally since July. We started rehearsing in September, and it's finally here. Praise God. It's great. Now, these children are wonderful. They really are. They have done such a hard... This was a tough musical. This is probably one of the most technical musicals that we've done in all these years and the kids are doing great they're going to have a fun time tonight we're we are doing we three spies that's why i have my hat on because that's what spies do they wear hats like this and so uh but uh i hope you enjoy yourself but the pre-show tonight is exciting because we have the little kids we have the primary choir and why don't we have them come on up and get at their microphones while I'm talking, okay? Come on. And they, they are precious. They really are. They really are. And they sing loud. They sing very loud. And so you will hear them, I promise, okay? Get behind your microphone. Okay, I've got this microphone, but you can have it back after I'm finished. Okay, you're, I think you're over here. I'll give you a mic when I'm done. All right, now, if you, if you out in the congregation tonight, if you belong to one of these right here, can you stand up and wave at them? Right now, stand up, stand up. Find your parents, find your grandparents, find your friends. Okay, y'all wave at them, all right? That's where they are, and they're here for you. 
guys. They're here for you. They want, they want to hear you tonight, and they're excited about being here. Now, our, our um, Roebuck Community Kids Choir, most of them used to sing in this, and so they're coming in to watch as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank all my, uh, uh, the, all the workers and, and everything. And before we start, I'm going to run upstairs. Uh, our pastor, Tim Williams, is going to come up and he's going to pray for us. And as soon as the prayer's over, we're going to get started. Okay, and the microphone goes right there when you're done. All right, the only reason he wants me to do this is because he's got to go up there. So I have to talk and pray. You don't have to run. I'll, I'll go longer than that. Hey, but thanks for being here. I know a lot of you have come to see your kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, all that. It's wonderful. We're so thankful that you're here. I encourage you to come back next Sunday night for our adult choir, our sanctuary choir. Same time, same place. It'll be great. But this is such a great time of the year as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And what a great time for us as believers to just be in, in a position to share the hope we have in Christ because people might be a little more interested right now. So pray for those opportunities and take advantage of them when you can. All right, let's pray together, and then we're going to hear from our primary choir. <clears throat> Father, you're so good to us, and the greatest thing you've ever done for us is that you sent your son Jesus. The Bible says in the fifth chapter of Romans that you demonstrate your, demonstrated your love for us and that while we were yet sinners, all of us, all of us were sinners, Christ died for us. And in order for Jesus to be able to, in order for him to die for us, he had to be born. And so on Christmas, that first Christmas, he was born and then lived that sinless life, showed us how to live, taught us, uh, performed miracles, demonstrated your power, and went to the cross for us. And he was buried, he was, he was crucified, dead, and buried, but then he rose from the dead and he lives today, seated at your right hand, making intercession for us. And one day, one day he's coming again, and we thank you for all that. Thank you for these boys and girls, for their parents, their families. Uh, thank you for their leaders who have prepared them for this. Thank you for Dr. Dave and his leadership of our worship and music program. And I just pray tonight that you would be glorified and honored and all that's done. And that's my cue. Amen. 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 Welcome to our program, Follow the Star. We are so excited to share what we have learned about the Magi. As a gift of our Magi is another name for wise men. We want to tell you the story of Christmas from the perspective of the Magi. So sit back and enjoy. We are the Magi because we Are the Magi. Some people call us wise men. We are from a faraway land in the east. We study a lot. It's just kind of what wise men do. Because we've always studied scripture, we knew when the star appeared that something important was happening. The scriptures had said that God would send a savior. We had to go and see if that was true. So we decided to follow that star. The star seemed far away and we knew our horses wouldn't make it on the long journey across the desert. So we brought some camels to ride. One of the camels we bought was named Sandy. She was so tall and fun to ride. 
Sometimes when you sit for a long time on a camel, you have a lot of time to think. I thought about a lot of things, and I realized God has a plan for all of this. His plan was for a savior, but it also includes me and it includes Sandy the camel. It was also part of God's plan that we would see a big bright star and follow it. God has a plan for you too, and you can trust that you are a part of his plan. It was such a long journey, and we followed that star for about two years. All of the prophet's writings that we had studied had said that God would send a savior. Oh, how we have waited for the one that God promised to send to save us. Just like the star shone and showed us the way to Jesus, Jesus came to show us the way to God. Just like we followed that star, we will follow the savior, Jesus. star led us to a city called Jerusalem. We went to see the king of Jerusalem. I think his name was King Herod. Anyway, the king did not know about the new king or the star. He talked with his advisors and said that we should look in Bethlehem. So off we went to Bethlehem. Yo 
Once we found Mary and the child, we knew. We knew God had kept his promise. We brought him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So we gave him our gifts, and we worshipped him. We're here to worship. We're here to worship him. We're here to worship Jesus, who came for you and me. The gifts we have to offer, we give them all to him. We're here to worship. He can rip it. Oh, he has some too.
your heart with wisdom what he teaches you And I followed you. Hello? Over here. Oh, hey! Come with me. I'll explain later.
saying? You're spy? Agent E, do you have the situation handled? Yes, we have no choice now but to activate him. Activate me? Awesome! at our secret meeting point for today's briefing. Obviously, you all viewed the message hidden in the candy cane you were delivered earlier today. Commander, as you can see, we had an unexpected development. I think we have all seen that, Agent E. Commander, Frankie is a friend of mine from school, and I can assure you he is completely trustworthy. Agent, this sounds like a conversation we should have in private, don't you think? Commander, I just completed a new gadget that will help us solve this problem. Let's test out my latest creation, the Super Silent Fruit Muffs. Whoever wears them won't be able to hear a thing. Why, thank you, Agent L. Are these made of fruit cake? Yes, they are. Here you go. Try these on. Commander, he followed us here, so I sort of had to tell him we were undercover. Agent E, you wouldn't want to compromise our whole season, would you? Christmas intelligence kits wouldn't be secret agents if you know they weren't secret. Excuse me? Just a minute, please. We'll be with you in a moment. I know, Commander. I would never do anything to jeopardize the CIK. Excuse me? I've done the calculations, and there's a 97% probability that Frankie would be a great addition to the CIK. I had to knock off three points for his, well, slight tendency towards clumsiness. I can still hear him. Oops, I was so sure these were going to work. Maybe they need more walnuts. Good news, these things will be good for months. Agent L, now he knows even more than when he got here. I can fix that. I recently invented a memory eraser machine. Where is it? Well, I tested it on myself, so I forgot where I left. But I'll go look for it. Agent E, I see we have no choice now but to activate your friend. Your name? Frankie. Frankie, this year your code name will be Agent F. Welcome to the CIK. Sweet, what next? Do I get to go on a secret spy mission? Take out some bad guys? Can I use karate? hi -ya! That won't be necessary. Please issue Agent F a hat. As you all know, each of our agent's hats are equipped with communication devices in case we need to contact you. Like a cell phone? Yes, but it's a hat. May I have an eye hat? Cute. I found it! I found the memory eraser! I just have to adjust the trigger. Well, don't just stand there. Bring it here. Bring what there? Forget her. Let me explain, Agent F. We spend our free time every December searching for ways to bring Christmas cheer to people who need it. And this time of year, there are a lot of them out there. I gathered you all here for a reason. We have a new mission. Good mission. Where's the memory eraser? Memory eraser? There's no such thing. Ooh, that's a great idea for an invention, though. But I do have a new gadget that'll be perfect for a silent night like this. A silent night? A silent night! Kids, why don't you explain it to Agent F?
So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets to be honored by men. When you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Matthew 6, 2 through 6, 4. profile client who has just retained our services. As you know, we usually like to fly under the radar and seek out our own Christmas missions, but this client was particularly convincing on the phone. She insisted on coming to give us the mission herself. Who is in charge here? I am. You must be Miss King. Agents, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Harriet King. It's Harriet. Rhymes with parrot. I'm sorry? It's Harriet. The eye is silent. Okay, King, Herod, got it. Did you say King Herod? I said King Herod, King, comma, Herod. Well, it sounded like. I know it sounded like, but. Can we get on with this, please? Certainly, Miss King. Is this a secure location? May I speak freely? Why, yes, you may speak freely in front of all of my agents. Agents? Why, these are just children. Yes, but they are fully trained Christmas intelligence operatives. They let children into the CIA? Actually, we're the CIK, Christmas Intelligence Kids. Oh, well, that's what I get for skimming the contract, I guess. Now that the team has been assembled, would you like to fill us in on the details of the mission, Miss King? Absolutely. <laughs> Lately, I have noticed some unusual activity at one of the many properties I own in this town, a local warehouse. It seems there are shipments arriving every day, brown paper packages of all shapes and sizes. Now, naturally, I try and stay out of the affairs of my tenants, but I do need to know if anything illegal is going on. Commander, I can use my new invention, the Jingle Alert, patent pending. Another invention? Agent L, I don't need to remind you about the, well, track record of your other inventions. The chocolate anti-gravity boots. The cotton candy umbrella. Oh no, Commander, not this time. The Jingle Alert has been tested and is field ready. When our CIK team retreats the information from Miss King, I'll just push the button and alert you here at the base. Then you'll know that the mission has been accomplished. It doesn't explode or anything, does it? Not so far. All right, agents E, L, and F, assemble your supplies and meet at 2000 Bethlehem Way at 1700 hours. Yes, my first mission. Everyone else, dismissed. You know, we usually only accept missions that include bringing Christmas cheer to people. <coughs> that include bringing Christmas cheer to people. After we uncover the information you need, we'd really like to do something special for the people there, if you don't mind. Oh, well, that's your business, I guess. You just do your spy thing, and I'll take care of the rest. Understood. Miss King, Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, Merry... <coughs> Merry, uh, cr cr uh, Christmas? Uh, yeah, that's the word. You see, it all started oh so many years ago. When I was young, there was a toy store down the street. Can I get a little more of myself on the monitor, please? Uh, what monitor? Filled with fancy toys and candy that was sweet. Did you bring your own microphone? Didn't that much. So I wrote a note to Santa asking him for one thing, a bicycle with training wheels. And I waited, and I waited, but the presents never came. That was the day I knew that Christmas and I were through. I don't like tinsel. I don't like eggnog. Ornaments or mistletoe. Wrapping paper, falling snow. I just like elves. <laughs> They're kind of creepy. Or bows of holly. And I'm not too fond of people who are jolly. I mean, really? Ho, ho, ho. Who's that happy? I don't like Christmas cards. They annoy me. Just 
send an email and reindeer where they bore me in carols make my headache so please don't sing and don't take this the wrong way for what's all the fuss about just one day there's just no way to get around it i don't like christmas you won't change my mind about it i don't like christmas everybody i don't like christmas i was expecting a big response that's okay you'll get it next time you don't like christmas that's just crazy believe it sweetie I don't like candy canes, they give you cavities. In Christmas trees that aggravate my allergies, stocking stuffers fall apart, so please don't buy them. And don't take this the wrong way, but what's all the fuss about just hidden deep in the fine print. It clearly states that there is to be no Christmas celebration. Soon I'll have the proof I need to evict them for good. I really don't like Christmas. We're gonna take about three minutes to reset our stage and then we'll continue.
Can you believe it's nearly time for our nativity play? Thank you all for preparing so hard for the community outreach tonight. Before we run dress rehearsal, are there any questions? Are we gonna have a snack today? Can we use real life sheep? Are you crazy? Who wants to snack on real life sheep? <laughs> yes, there will be a snack today, and no, we will not be using live sheep. Also, th this isn't a question, but I heard the Crosby kids have COVID? Yes, I'm aware that our wise men will not be joining us for tonight, but God will provide, he always does. So it looks like they're doing a Christmas play. Should we activate the jingle alert? No, not yet. We still don't know what's in the packages. Wait, we need to be careful not to. Let me help. Oops. Well, who do we have over here? Come on out. Don't be shy. Are you here for the rehearsal? Oh, um, yes, we are. Well, this looks as this will be perfect. Three parts just opened up. Josie, will you please help our new wise men with their costumes? Now, let's start with a song, what was happening before the angels and before the manger. God's people were waiting and longing for a savior. Those living in the land of deep darkness have seen great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. The people that walked in the darkness and died Day so dark, it clouded out the light. In expectation, we waited in faith for hope for the future, a king to save. God with us, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, here with us, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, a miracle come down.
find out what's in all these boxes. I know. I, we, I can use my Xmas ray. It can penetrate most any material and let us see what's inside. You go distract Miss Maple and the others? No problem. Agent F, this is what it's called creating a diversion. Diversion. I'm drawing attention to myself so each L can figure out what's going on with those packages. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, this is terrible! Can you walk? Are you all right? What happened? I slipped on a candy cane! How did a candy cane get on our stage? I don't know, but I think my ankle is... The Xmas ray worked. Mission accomplished. Feeling much better, thank you. Oh, thank goodness. Wiseman, will you please help unload the boxes that have been arriving all week while the angels, shepherds, and sheep join me on the stage? Let's start at the top of the scene. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Let's stop for a minute. Shepherds, how should we be reacting right now? Terrified. I've seen you look terrified, and that's not it. How about this? That's not it either. How would you react if your dog ate your iPad? Ah! Yes, we're getting there, but let's keep working on it. It worked. When did my inventions not work? Okay, I take that back. So what was inside? Was it something dangerous and illegal? It was shoes. Shoes? We can't activate the jingle alerts if we have more than shoes to report. Let's keep investigating. Okay, Cass, we have our shepherds and angels. Let's think about the message those angels brought to those ordinary people long ago. They had been waiting as long as they could remember and the Messiah was finally to be born. It was the best news they could have hoped for. Don't be afraid. I've got the greatest news in history. Don't be afraid. Though it seems a mystery.
Commander, when do you expect an update from your team? I'm very anxious to finish my uh, c c Christmas project. Don't worry, Miss King. I'm sure we'll receive the transmission any minute now. Excellent. I scheduled a quick manicure in the lounge while we wait. Lounge? What lounge? The tiny space around the corner. My office? Sure, sweetie. Commander, why are we helping her? What do you mean, Agent Tiny? She's our client. Of course we want to help her. She, she doesn't like Christmas. What? Why would you say something like that? I heard her say it with my own ear. I heard her say if they were doing anything with Christmas, she would evict them. I don't know what that means, but it sure doesn't sound nice. It means that, it means they'll kick them out. Oh, oh no! Don't panic, everyone. We'll simply call the emergency channel in their hats, telling them not to activate the jingle alert. Attention, I have an update. We are very excited to tell you that we have surpassed our goal and are tracking the packages coming in by the truck load. At this rate, we will all be able to bless hundreds of families in our community. I'm proud of each one of you. Many of you even sacrificed buying gifts to your families to support this community project. Bingo, I think we got what you need. The packages are Christmas gifts to the community. Okay, let's activate the jingle alert. Mission accomplished! Okay, let's step for the major scene. Narrator? While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. Does anyone hear that? Oh, Where is that noise coming from? Oh, sorry. I must have left my cell phone on. Weird ringtone, dude. I know, right? Please, everyone, keep your cell phones off until dress rehearsal is finished. Continue. She wrapped them in cloths and placed them in a major because there's no room for them anywhere.
emergency channel in your hat. Miss King is trying to invite everyone who's celebrating Christmas. Trying to evite? I think you mean evict. That's why I said she's trying to kick them out. We need to warn these people. If Miss King gets here, the whole Christmas event will be ruined. All right, everyone, take your places for the scene with the manger. Miss Maple, we have an urgent matter to discuss. Can it wait until our final rehearsal? People are beginning to arrive outside, so we only have just a few more. I hate to interrupt this little celebration. Ma'am, the doors actually won't be opening for another 10 minutes, but if you... I've been watching you for weeks with these packages coming in and out, but I needed more. I needed real proof. I'm afraid I don't understand. Of course you don't. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Miss Herrick King, and this is my building. And what you seem to have overlooked is that on page 147, section two, paragraph three of the rental agreement, it states that there is to be no celebrating of Christmas on this premises. Why no, I was not aware of that. Always read the fine print, dear. I can fix this right here. I'll use my memory race around her and she'll forget all about not liking Christmas. How cute. It's a flashlight. Were you looking for this? You left it in the lounge. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. You, we were, you are about to, you are in violation of the Christmas code and are to be evicted, effective immediately. Oh, no! Surely you understand, Miss King. We have a huge event planned for tonight. Perhaps you could... Make an exception because it's Christmas? Not a chance. You have 10 minutes to leave the property or I'll call the authorities. Listen, we don't need a building to show God's love. Our community has been selflessly giving gifts all month and God will honor these efforts. I know he will. But how do you know? The Bible says that we can trust God with all our hearts. He is in control. Mary and Joseph trusted God when they heard that King Herod was searching for baby Jesus. Mary believed that God had chosen her to give birth to a son, and she knew he would continue to take care of them. Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth. There are days you wake up and nothing's going your way. But it's not always easy to simply trust and obey. God is the one who holds the earth in the palm of his hand, who calms the winds and stormy seas and counts the grains of sand. As the heavens are higher than the earth and the mountains rise higher than the sea, God's ways are higher than the highest mountain, higher than our ways could ever be.
everyone, will you please help move the packages outside and the manger scene will go right in front of the building. Did I forget to mention that on page 147, section two, paragraph four, it states that if the contract is broken, everything in the building belongs to me. Well, just start again. It's just stuff. And true treasure is not anything you can hold or touch. That's right, Josie. It sounds like people have begun arriving outside. Let's go outside and leave these packages with Miss King. The birth of Jesus Christ will go on as scheduled without the props, the set, and even the gifts. Well, good. You're taking this much better than expected. I still don't understand. You won't be able to help the community like you planned. God's timing is perfect, and we don't want to do anything that he is not directing. When it's time to give gifts, he will provide and make a way. Until then, we have to be faithful and give ourselves to him as a gift. Are we ready? Places, everyone. Christmas, everyone, and thank you all for coming. We have encountered a few obstacles today, but we are thrilled to be able to remember with you the greatest Christmas gift ever. Those living on the land of darkness have seen great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he would be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a major because there was no room for them in the After Jesus was born, Ma Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is one who is born, King of Jews? Um, we saw his star in the east and we have come to worship him.
Miss King, I brought something for you. What? What do you mean? It's my sister's, and she was saving it for me for when I got bigger, but I want you to have it. It's a bicycle with chain wheels. You said you wanted one. But after I tried to ruin your Christmas celebration, why would you be so kind to me? Because God gave us the greatest gift at Christmas. And that gift lives inside of us. Giving our lives back to him is our gift. Tissue. I need a tissue. <laughs> and a latte while you're at it. Thanks. Thank you, darling. Extra hot, 12 pumps of vanilla. <laughs> well, I've never experienced something like this. I'm at a loss. A loss. There's a tiny chance I may have overreacted. Well, when we give to others, we are imitating the actions of the greatest giver who gave our lives to him over 2,000 years ago. God coming down to earth to save his people. Well, that's just amazing. Thank you. Well, what are y'all just standing here for? We gotta pass out all these gifts to the people in our community who need them. Miss King, want to go with me and pass out the gifts? Only if I can ride my bicycle. Do you know how to ride my bicycle? Uh, no, but how hard can it be? Oh, boy. But first, I feel a song coming on. Can I get a spotlight following me up here, please? Oh, well, we're on it. Thank you. That's much better.
That was fantastic. Thank you, kids. That was so wonderful. Give them a big hand. I need a bigger hand for this. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, guys, you guys were wonderful. <laughs> The amazing thing about this, these are your kids. These are your kids. Isn't that wonderful? They work so hard. Oh, gosh, I am so happy. You guys were fantastic. It was, wor was it worth all the, all the work that we did? Yes. Yeah, it was. It was. This has become such a great tradition at our church, and uh, we thank you for supporting us. Many of, you, many of the kids go to our church. Many do not go to our church. Uh, from the community, there are a lot of a lot of churches that, that do not do children's choirs anymore, and so I said, well, let's just open it up to anybody that wants to come. Okay, so if you know some other kids, some friends, or something like that next year that want to sing with us, it's a lot of fun. It's tough, isn't it, girls? It's tough. I want to thank. I want to th first of all, I want to thank the children uh, for their hard work over the last three months. Thank you so much for that. I want to thank our directors. Ah, these ladies are amazing. Um, I, I just sit up there. I'm the only one that messed up tonight. I think I was the only person that messed up. Um, but that's okay. It's, it's all right. You probably, yeah, you probably know where it was. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, I want to, first of all, say Miss Amy Bright. Amy's been... Amy's been doing this since she was 19 years old. And so it's only been a few years, I know. <laughs> but Amy is an amazing uh, musician, our pianist here at the church. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, Miss Christina Hill. Christina, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This year, we have one of our former children's choir kids that is now doing choreography for us. This is Miss Sam Gregory. <laughs> Helped out by her mom, Miss Pam Gregory, who used to fill this role. I love it. I love, I love it when the kids come back and they want to be a part. Um, Blake Hill back in the back, he did, he helped with the lights, but he also did the, the part with the, with the uh, primary choir. Um, we also have our primary choir uh, directors, Ms. Glenda, um, Glenda uh, Carabinos, that's, that's a long name, I forget that. Glen, Glenda per Carabinos, <laughs> Lindsay Taylor, and Miss Maggie Hill, who is up there doing words and stuff for us. Wow, it's a lot of work to do something like this. But as I always say, this is like, this is the beginning of Christmas for me every year. We get to do this. And, oh, yes, another one of our former um, choir kids made this manger this year, Mr. Walker Timms. So we're keeping them going. So uh, love having the, them be a part of this. And the, the reason we do this is because we want to honor our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's the reason we do this. We don't do it for Santa Claus. We don't do it for gifts. We don't do it for all that kind of stuff. We do it because we love Jesus Christ, because he came to this earth 2,000 years ago and died on a cross so that we could go to heaven. And we told the story of the gospel tonight, and we showed how um, even when things don't go the way we expect them to go, God will work things out for us. He loves us. He wants the best for us. And if we honor him, he will honor us. And we thank, we thank him for the, the wonderful story of um, the incarnation of God to become a man. And that's what Jesus Christ was. If you're here tonight, and you may have heard this a hundred times, but maybe he's not your God. Maybe you don't you haven't put your faith in Jesus Christ. I hope all of these children have. 
I hope you all have. And if you haven't, I really pray that you will come to know Jesus Christ as your Savior. Thank you so much for being a part of this. But the best thing you could do is put your faith in Christ. Same with you, parents. Same with you, grandparents, friends, relatives. And uh, it's just, it's, it's amazing. Next week, next week, this choir is going to sing with our uh, sanctuary choir. Those who can come next Sunday night, uh, parents, I will send uh, something you know about it. It's just one song we're going to sing. We have several solos as well as choir singing one song. Um, and so if they can come next week, we'd like them to come and be here at 5 o'clock next week. And they just need to wear Christmas clothes, that kind of thing. And so if they can come next week, that would be fun. We're going to have a party afterwards, a hayride, hopefully, and um, along with our adult choir and all. And so um, it's, it's just great. And thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for making this part of your Christmas celebration this year. Let's all stand together, and we're going to pray. You have, oh, yeah, kids, see those things down there? We got some candy canes for you guys. Yeah with M&Ms and stuff like that in them. So make sure you grab one on the way out. And for the little kids too, for our primary choir kids, weren't they good? They were, they really were. I'll say one thing for them. They sang with conviction, didn't they? They did. I had to turn all their microphones way down. And then when the, these kids came up, I had to turn them way up. And so uh, we got some some breath support in our little choir. All right, well, let's have a word of prayer and we'll go home. Lord, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for giving us this wonderful story of Christmas. Thank you for coming to earth and dying for us. And Lord, giving us this story so we can first put our faith in you and then we have the opportunity to tell other people about it. And Lord, I pray for all of us that the meaning of Christmas would be Jesus Christ. Lord, we'll have fun doing all kinds of things and parties and all, but Lord, I pray that all these children will know how important it is that you love them and that they put their faith in you. Thank you for this night. Give us a safe trip home, and thank you for all the many blessings you give us. In your name we pray. Amen. You're dismissed.